All right, let's tackle another battery today. Today we're gonna be looking at these. We got a palette of these, and I don't know anything about them. I know they're an e-bike pack, but that's about it. It doesn't have much in the form of writing. It just has those numbers right there. And then that, this little thing there that doesn't say much, just, you know, do not incinerate, do not do this, do not do that. So what we're going to do is take it apart and see what else we can find out about it. Uh, it looks like a, a fuse goes on here and then it's got this typical uh, e-bike connector on this side, right? But uh, let's take the screws off and then we are going to see what's inside, what the voltage is. We don't know anything about this pack. Okay, as it turns out, there are two, most, two more screws behind the label that goes on here and you can't see them. And once you take those off, then this cap pops right out. Now we're gonna try to push this battery pack out either way, this way or that way. Uh, we're gonna try to push it so that we don't rip the cables off. All right, the trick here uh, is to uh, remove the uh, this silicon stuff right here, right? You just slide a blade in there and cut it, and then you push the pack from either side. On this case, I'm pushing it from this side uh, towards the back. Yeah, this is, would be the back where the connectors are at. And look at that, I just took this thing, disconnected it. I think this is a charging port, I think. So hopefully it doesn't short out. We're just gonna pull it right out here. All right, so here it is. Now we get to see well, another label here, there's not much here other than capacity is 36 volts. So now we know 36 volts, 9.6 amp power. Um, gives us another thing there, but not, nothing very useful here. Oh, date, 2018, we're in 2022. So these are about four year old batteries. Um, let's, t let's take it apart. Let's break this to see what kind of cells are inside. Right, look at this so this is kind of a pcb board uh material but it's very very thin and it doesn't have the paint and it doesn't have the copper it's kind of it's a bit flimsy you know it bends right here you see it but i guess this is all the the lower quality battery packs use that as a battery building material i'm using it also as you can see in these modules here but you know i'm using higher quality it's got design it's got cutouts it's got you know, carry some current sometimes so that the cables are better. But these are, I, you know, these are kind of budget cells or packs. I expect to see not the highest quality cells in here. They might be Chinese cells. But we'll see. All right, so here we go. It looks like they are back cells not the worst cells they're a chinese manufacturer we bought some i don't know i want to say maybe like six years ago we found a load of them new here in the states and we bought them for a dollar a cell and a bunch of us built uh, packs with them and they weren't terrible uh they're just you know chinese they're not as good as the name brand cells uh other than that like what we can see here is that it's a 10s uh 20 amp bms right so you can get 20 amps out of this pack right here so that's about 720 watts that's what this battery will likely be capable of giving you um so uh also you can clearly see here that that is uh labeled as c minus and this is the cable that goes all the way over here to this one, which means this is, in fact, the charging port for this pack. And then this is the power port, right? This is where the, the bike, the e-bike or the scooter or whatever will be connected in here. And then this is the this charge port, right? Um, other than that, yeah, this is not too bad of a pack. Uh, you can use it for entry-level e-bikes 
right? Anything that's 36 volts is kind of entry uh, level. 720 amps, is, uh, 720 watts is not shabby. It, it's, it's got good power to take off and stuff. Uh, if you wanted to build something like higher, uh, you know, higher power or, you know, then you maybe you could use two of these in series, right? And then you charge these separately, individually, and then you connect them together. But you can put a connector in here and connect them in series. Now you will get 72 volts at, uh, you know, 20 amps, and that's up about 1400 watts right now so you can build like about 1400 watt system uh i guess you could put two of these in parallel and then get the 1400 watts at 36 volts also that's another way that you can do it but there you go these are we have a pallet of these they've been there for a while i haven't had a chance to look at what they were now that we know what they are the back cells uh and they're 36 they're about four years old. Um, yeah, we're gonna put them on the website so you guys can buy them and build, you know, DIY T bikes or yeah, pretty much do whatever you can. You can do the same thing that we're doing with all the other packs uh, and all the other projects that we've been doing here in the last couple of years, right? So there we go. These are gonna be affordable because uh, I don't think we paid much for these. I don't even remember how much we paid. We'll have to look at our documents here, but these, uh, we didn't pay much for them. so. We're going to give them cheap. All right, just go to jack35.com. Link is in the description. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.